I-V-B-N, the rich video blog network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great top 10 list of everything and anything, and a whole lot more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. I-V-B-N, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is... 6.44 in the morning. It's Wednesday, July 5th, 2017. It's about 59 degrees out in Belgium, Massachusetts. Going to be another winner of a day. Going to be about 80, low humidity. And tomorrow, same deal as well. But beginning Friday, the mightiness comes back and the chance of showers and thunderstorms. It's New England. But it was a good stretch of low humidity days in a row, which you don't get too much in the summertime, especially coming up to the hottest part of the year, meteorologically wise. Some news to report on the RVBN News. Why, do, 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 do. The Boston Red Sox crushed the Texas Rangers by the score of 11 to 4. Six straight wins by the Boston Red Sox, the New York Yankees have designated outfielder Chris Carter for assignment for the second time this season. Chris Carter led the National League in home runs um, last year, but he wasn't offered a contract by the Brewers. And this year he's been having a poor year with the Yankees. The Ironbirds beat the Lowell Spinners by the score of 4-2, and it's official. Gordon Hayward's joining the Boston Celtics, four-year contract worth $127 million. So this is the second straight year the Boston Celtics brought in a free agent, which they're not known to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a video blog on the Celtics offseason. So stay tuned for that. And that's about it on news from the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Be back and flash with my first video blog subject of the day, which will be about my personality profile, will be about New Orleans Saints quarterback, Drew Brees. But first, hear this. Get out. You're so sweet, cause they're cute. The more the merrier. Go find something to do. I know, I know, I know. Are you writing a book? Um. Want to put a radio on that, Richie? I don't care about game shows. Great quotes only on RVBN. Time now, 6.46 in the morning, Bellica, Massachusetts. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is about New Orleans Saints quarterback, Drew Brees. Drew Brees is one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history. And he's still going strong with the Saints. Drew was born and he grew up in Texas. And his father played for the Texas A&M baseball team. His mother played sports in high school. And his brother played college baseball for Baylor. So Drew comes from a big um, sports family that they played with. Drew didn't play tackle football into high school. He was more focused on baseball and basketball because he, he wanted maybe to follow his family's footsteps into baseball. And but in high school he played he played um, football, basketball, and baseball. He got an honorable mention for the USA Today High School All-Star Team his senior year in high school. He went to Purdue, majoring in um, industry management. And he was a um, member of the Sigmund Chita fraternity. And he had an awesome college career. His stats were 1,002. 26 completions out of 1,678 attempts, having a 61.1 um, av average completions, 13, uh, 11,107 
1100 one um 11,792 passing yards, 90 touchdown passes, and 45 interceptions. He was Big Ten MVP one year, and he led Purdue to a couple of bowl games. Um, Drew was drafted by the Chargers in the sec second round, 32nd overall in 2000. And won, and he's played 16 years in the NFL. He played um, the first um, five seasons of his career with the Chargers. He was one year a uh, backup quarterback for Doug Flutie, and then he's played for the played became the starting quarterback for the Chargers for a few years until they drafted Phillip Rivers and he signed a three free agent contract with the Saints. He flirted with going to the Dolphins. And that was a good move that the Saints got um fifteen seasons. He had two hundred or more passing yards, thirteen seasons, uh three hundred complete completed passes 14 seasons, his complete percentage was 60%. 13 seasons, he had um, 20 touchdown passes. 10 times he made it to a Pro Bowl. 7 times he led the NFL in passing um, yards. 4 times he led the NFL in touchdown passes. He's made one All-Pro team, first team. Three times All Pro, second team. Two times he's been Offensive Player of the Year. One time he was um, Sportsman of the Year by SI. One time he won the uh, Walter Payton Man of the Year award. He holds records for most touchdown passages in New Orleans Saints history, and he won Super Bowl 44 for the Saints first Super Bowl for them in their history and only one today. And Drew was number nine. He's still a great, great quarterback. Even though in an advanced stage, he still gets the job done. And the Saints are kind of very mediocre now. And But with, with Drew, they might have a chance to win the division each and every year. And Drew's career is winding down, but I think he could still go until he's 40 or more, in my humble opinion. His career stats so far are 5,836 completed passes out of 8,758 total, a 66.6% .6 completion rate, rating. 66,111 yards, 465 touchdown passes, and 220 interceptions. And uh, Drew's only about approximately 5,000 yards away, passing yards away from breaking Peyton Manning's record. And if he stays healthy, he could do it. Maybe this season or next season. And Drew's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer when he retires. And the Saints will retire as number nine as well. And that's about it on him. We'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Two more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be about Canopy Lake Park in Salem, New Hampshire. And the third and final video blog on that will be about the former tag team, the U.S. Express, with Mike Rotundo and Barry Windham. Eventually, it was Mike Rotundo and Golden Boy. Danny Spivey. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Wolf Blood, WCC, all and has nice likes. Elizabeth Hotso, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome, Amy. Then the Church of WPIX Channel of New York, such a wacky cougar. got the best legs in New York City, bar none. Bobby gives up ABC 11, Sweet Southern X, and best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ollie Woolley of WABI Channel 5 in Bangor, Maine, rocks. That's the best legs in Maine. Lisa Bell of New 6, Orlando, Florida, rocks. She's got the fourth best legs in Orlando, Florida. Christian G. Antis is such a great goddess, fifth best legs in Orlando, Florida, and Alex Cordry, um, sp um, sports reporter for Fox Sports Sun, rocks, she's got the best legs in Tampa Bay, second best legs in Orlando, Florida, I mean, second best legs in Florida, behind a woman, woo, bye now.